How's it going? I'm Beatnik. A couple weeks ago I did a quick first impressions video of an indie FPS that hit open beta called Screen Cheat. And yesterday they just released a new map and a new weapon for the game. And I'm just going to do a quick video to go through what I think of these. Screen Sheet is a first person shooter that takes one of the most frustrating things about console shooters back in the day and turns it into the core mechanic. The game's really well built around this in that everyone is invisible so the only way to find them and shoot them is by screen cheating. And the map design has been very specific in the first two levels to really make the most of this mechanic. They were very simple level design and very deliberate with their colour choice. Everything was colour coded so it was really easy to spot where people were, if you were paying attention at least. They've decided to make the new map much more interesting. It's it feels much more enclosed and also feels very open. There's multiple levels to play with and there's multiple paths to get between the levels, but they've still managed to keep that colour coding in there so that you can track people down, but they've made it much more subtle so it seems to blend into the level more. And the level itself is really fun to play around. It feels like an old school Unreal Tournament game. Uh, you can float around on jump pads, uh, you can go from underneath or above people and it's just really fun to track people down and even by itself it would be a fun map. It would get boring without the screen sheet mechanic but it still would be fun in its own right. It's got some really nice elements in it. The other thing that they've added is the new gun. This feels like a homage to the BFG from old school games like Quake and Unreal Tournament. The way it works is you you charge up your shots, you can't fire it straight away, and while you're charging, you're visible. Once you let that shot off though, it is insane. In the new map, it's not as powerful, because the way it works, it ricochet off of all the surfaces and just keep traveling. So if you're playing the first map, which is all enclosed, you can let off a really well-aimed shot and set it going through all of the levels just about in the map. And it makes it quite easy to hit everyone. It feels a bit overpowered in the earlier levels. In the new map, like I said, because it's very open, it's much more technical because you can bounce it off all the surfaces, but it's not as easy in that it's all enclosed. So it takes a bit more skill to get through, but at the same time, it does have a massive blast. So it's really good. I don't think this weapon breaks the game, uh, which is one thing I was very scared of when I saw how it worked. It is very hard to use, there's a long reload time and there's a long time to get it to shoot in the first place. So it is it is easy enough that you can shoot them before they can shoot you, but if they do manage to get that shot off, oh you're in trouble, <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> I've seen some amazing shots get pulled off by that thing. All in all, I think the devs are doing a really good job in balancing the game and making some really interesting maps that are going to make the most of this mechanic and still be interesting and challenging. Uh, I'm really looking forward to when this is released and see all the rest of the maps that come out and uh, hopefully I'll get to play with some of you and uh, yeah, as always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Phew! See ya!